Go real lightly and pull upward without having to flip it in reverse and go upward. Like either way is fine. And then usually there'll be some sawdust in a scroll pattern. You can kind of tap that. But these really skinny little bits, be careful because they break very, very easily. Okay, and you can see the size difference on the holes. There's quite a bit. Um, you know, one thirty second of an inch shows up quite a bit when we're talking about diameters of things. And let's see if this now. Oh, yeah, there we go. So that was an actual one sixteenth bit. And I didn't go all the way through, so I could push it all the way down in there. And then if I need to, again, grab the needle nose, get a nice snug grip, and then push down. Whoop, and then try not to do that and bend it, which I just did. Oopsie. And these are just your quick little sculpt sketch uh, armatures. So treat them as such. You don't have to do anything fancy with them. You should make a lot of these. And I would say your desk throughout the semester as you're exploring, even if you're doing digital work, you know, have your little sculpture stands ready and explore costume pieces and hair and features and forms and anything you want to test out, do it here so it's faster than uh, almost any other way of working. It's just like uh, sketching with the pencils very fast. All right, so the other thing we're going to make for this class is a little stand of of cats. Yes, we're gonna have cats everywhere. So we're gonna make a little sculpture stand that's gonna have multiple pins in it. And for this, uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit organized. So kind of like you would see for the making of uh, Paranorman or Coraline or a Ch a Kubo has a good making of, as well as of course the new uh, Pinocchio, if you get your hands on the art book for that, there'll be some cool stuff in there. So. What I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna actually uh, do multiple pinholes in here. And that way, if I need to set down a piece I'm working on, for instance, here's a little dragon head, right? Or a little creature head, rah, rah, right? Using brass stock. So that way, this piece of brass can go into this piece of brass and they're really strong. And this is how you swap out heads and hands and fingers and different parts from a stop motion puppet or from a maquette that's gonna be, um, that's gonna be cast with bronze or you're gonna make a mold of or something like that. So if I have a little uh, station here with all these little pieces fitting, I can have like a, a series of posts there where I can set my part down and pick it back up, right? So you can set down your multiple faces or multiple hands or whatever parts you're working on. So uh, I'll just grab a ruler here and I'll do a little pinhole every so, uh, every so often. Nothing precise here. I'm just kind of giving you guys a quick rundown for what a good way to work here. So maybe I'll do like an inch in between each one is good. And then we could do the same thing uh, and do a second row. And maybe one row, maybe the front row, I'm going to have small pins and the uh, back row, I'm going to have larger pins. So I'm going to keep that in mind as I do this. And I've been doing this for a while, so I, I usually don't go through into my good surfaces, but it does happen, you know, even after doing it a few thousand times. So I'm gonna keep my munch board for safety so I don't ruin my good board and make sure I'm using the right size. Uh, again, so hard to see some of the writing on these little itty bitty ones. So uh, if I grab my all, not a bad idea. Ooh, on the hardwood, especially, because it's easy to slip on the hardwood, just give it a little pop right where you want it to go in. Is that shaking the camera good? Camera shake! <laughs> camera shake! <laughs> Are you leaving it setting on the table? <laughs> so I'm gonna drill eight holes here for my sculpture posts, uh, stands. So I'll do, I should stand when I do this. You wanna be over the top of it, you get a really good center. If I'm like this sitting and it's holding it over, it's really hard to have a good control and making your um, your drill holes go straight and perpendicular. Okay, so there's my small 1 16th 
inch pinholes and then we'll just make sure these are one eighth they are one eighth inch pinholes and oh, that's messy smoky and just a reminder again please wear your eyeglasses and dust masks and or eyeglasses or safety goggles when you're doing this 